guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Rosie, and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me. I really appreciate it. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you a little mini album that I created for my recent um, staycation that I had. Um, you may or may not know that I needed to vacate my home for about a week so that they could um, upgrade some things in my home. And because of that, I ended up just going to the Marriott here in town. And I decided that while I was away, I would take advantage and I would look at it like I'm doing a vacation. And I would try to do something every day that I wouldn't necessarily do if I was home. So... When I got home, I decided that I wanted to make a little mini album, just kind of documenting my week away, and I ended up thinking of um, a couple of different things. First of all, I love this mini album holder that I created from my jean shorts, my back pocket. So I just cut out the pocket from an old pair of jean shorts that I no longer wanted, cut out the pocket, and that is my holder for my mini album. Now I'm going to go through, this isn't a tutorial on how to do it, but I will give you little tips and tricks along the way through my flip through. So giving you some ideas on how you can do this. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video super quick to let you know about a new goal that I've recently established for my channel. Now, I'm looking at attaining an additional 300 subscribers in the next few months. What? I know, I know. It's a lofty goal, right? But I really think that we can do it together. So how can you help? You can help by doing three small things. The first thing is hitting that like button on this video, then clicking on that subscribe button, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, all you need to do is hit the like button on this video. It's even easier. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, simple things but mean so much. I would really appreciate your support. So. Are you ready to be on this goal journey with me? All right, let's do it. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so first of all, let me go ahead and show you the holder itself before I do the mini album. Let me move this off to the side just for a quick second. So here is my holder. So like I mentioned, I just cut out the back pocket to my jean shorts, cut away the trimming and all of that, and made it look nice and neat as far as the edges. And then I found in my stash, I had a bunch of iron-on patches. I just grabbed them super quick. So I have this little Dollar Tree container with the lockable lids. And I knew that I had these. I just didn't remember what exactly I had. So I kind of went through and I saw what different patches I had. I couldn't really spell out anything with the letters that I had. So I couldn't use the letters, but I did use some of these little stars. I had some flowers. So I went through here and I picked out what I could use. So let me put this away. And these are just straight iron-on patches. So I found this one and the heart and then the stars. So I went ahead and I just ironed them on using my easy press, or you can use an iron, and just ironed them on. Then I knew that I wanted to spell out um, some different things. Now I kind of went back and forth with do I want to use a stencil and use markers? Do I want to do a chain stitch with embroidery floss and do that? I ended up thinking of using my thickers because I have so many alphas and I honestly don't use them all that much. So I'm like, okay, let's use the alphas, but how am I going to make it stick really, really well to jean, to fabric? 
I know that my reptile glue probably would not have it stay on really well. Remember that this is going to be manhandled and all of that, and I didn't want my letters to pop off. So, I went into my stash and I found that I had this Fabric Fusion. It's permanent fabric adhesive. It's by Aileen's. I may have gotten it from Joann's. I really don't remember. But in any case, this is what I used. So I just took some different alpha thickers and then adhered them to my back pocket using the Fabric Fusion. So I put the date the year 2023 it was in august and then i found these really pretty script upper and lower case alphas and i wrote out tps which stands for town place um what is it town place suites and then it was at the marriott so i placed where it was and then what i did was i just took a um a pokey tool poked a hole used my eyelet to add an eyelet and then created a charm to include and to add to the side of my pocket so that's gonna stay there i did do one of these little clasp that way i can move it if i find something else but that is how i created the holder all right, let me show you the mini album. Okay, so here is the mini album that I created. Now, I have ordered my pictures. I ordered them through um, Free Prints. I didn't have any more um, any more ink cartridges for my selfie, so I need to order. So I do need to wait to put in the pictures. However, I went ahead and I already made my math so I know where to place my pictures. So first of all, here is the cover. And what I did was I made this little dangle here using a bunch of trim. I have tons of trim and one of the things that I had said to myself is that I need to really start using it. So I just picked a bunch of different type of trim and just included them all on and then I just added it to one of these clasp, used a um, a rubber band to go around the top to kind of cinch it at the top and there you have it. So there is that. Now I used a larger book ring and I added a hole to the covers and to the pages. Now the covers I did make out of chipboard so they are a lot more sturdy. So let me show you kind of how I have laid out my mini album. So here on the cover I have all different types of felt flowers, some gems. I added a white doily underneath just to anchor all of the ephemera. And then I ripped up different size papers so that you can see it all underneath to add kind of to like the layering um, aspect to it and then included a bunch of chipboard stickers. So this chipboard sticker says the story, think happy thoughts and travel. So there is the front and then when you open it up I have an inside pocket and on the pocket I have two mats. I already know what size pictures I'm going to have. So I already did the mats, added some cardstock stickers, added a bunch of gems just to kind of bling it out and then did a little cluster of cardstock stickers. Here I included a banner, another banner, added some gems on either side to anchor it, and then created this little tuck spot here, and then just added some cardstock stickers. Here are some more, some more picture mats. And then here is the next page again, just a banner, some gems. And then here, let me just take one of these out. And then here I did a longer, taller belly band. And I'm going to include some pictures underneath and some journaling. 
And then here is the next page, just some cardstock stickers clustered and layered. Here I've created two pockets for more journaling and pictures. Here is a library pocket with a cardstock sticker. It says, Memories to Love and Cherish Forever. Love that. So I can include some other things there. Here is a little pocket with some different cardstock stickers clustered on top of each other. And then included two picture mats. Love this collection. And then here I included these alphas. It says BU. And then it included three pink gems. Clustered up some cardstock stickers. Here is more photo mats. And I did leave this open here so I can add my picture to both added some gems and some cardstock stickers. Here is this one. It says happy day, some cardstock stickers, photo mat, and then included some green gems on either side. And then here did a photo mat and I did a really pretty edge scalloped edge to this photo mat included the word happy did my photo mat itself i have a tag added some baker's twine and a little car and then on the last page is another couple of photo mats some cardstock stickers and some gems and then here is the back chipboard cover now i did I did leave the back completely clean. I did not decorate it. Now, once I have all of my pictures placed in here and, and I can see what kind of space I have, I may or may not decorate it some more. But for now, this is how it's going to look. Let me just place this back in its place. So there you have it, guys, a really quick idea to turn a little mini album into something so completely different and new. I absolutely, absolutely love how this came out. I love that my mini album has a holder that it can sit in. I'm loving the ability to use the thickers and iron-on patches and all kinds of textures to my jean pocket just to give it that added little something and that fabric fusion really came in on the clutch it really 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 helped to keep everything nice and sturdy and on there these alphas are not coming off for anything and the iron on as well now i did include two different dangles. One is I attached to the holder and one is attached to the album itself. All right, guys. Well, I really hope that this video provided you with a little bit of inspiration. You know, sometimes all you need is that little spark to kind of get you going in the right direction for whatever it is that you're trying to create. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, guys, thank you so much. Your support goes an awful long way in helping my channel out. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative. <music>